Welcome again to Adventure Store Channel videos about marine engineering. Today we will discuss about the IMPA guide as you have requested. It's a really really important book in the maritime industry for the marine engineers and for those who involve in this industry. First of all, I would like to thank you that you have joined this channel. Also you have purchased some of the courses that I have uploaded here on this channel by pressing the join button in the beginning of the main page and quickly we will start and I will share with you the most important things that you should know how to ordering what is necessary as marine engineer and we will take step by step to check for sure we can make 20 or 30 videos about uh, this book there is a lot of things to say about but it depends how much you care about to learn that uh, the things that I will share with you so let's start with the first video we will see step by step all the items so this guide it's really really big and through the years there is some improvement some codes which uh, change uh, also, uh, the old one, uh, the pages was w white and uh, black, so by the time they have additionally added some new pages with coloring. And as you can see, there is an index, which is really, really helpful here, from where you can see the general description of what uh, each part contains. So let's say if we are looking let's say if you have something in mind about uh, welding equipment you are going here to 85 so let's see 85 let's see this number what will uh, bring us so we are going to 85 directly we are going and checking the pages so here as you can see we are located in 17.8 okay so we are going to 85 let's see now we are 21 so I took a uh, really really from the last one 75 let's see 79 it's almost in the end and through the time as you check the book you already will know about where is the location of uh, such equipment let's see a little bit more 85 so here we are here we are we have all the equipment for the welding we have span gases we have propane gas we have acetylene gases for ordering but nowadays mostly of the gases will be supplied from the unit or and such kind of brands so as you can see 85 contains all the welding equipment so let's uh, it's time to change the welding hoses and you are in the main page so you are going here you have in mind to change some welding hoses because they have been broken so you are attend to page 85 10 to 12 so let's go down to see and here we have 85 10 to 12 85 so it's more up here 10 to 12 okay we are here here so we have rubber oxygen hose and acetylene you can see the inside diameter the outside diameter the working pressures and the meters of coil for sure in our case here we measure first of all the inside diameter and outside diameter we will know which size we have on board so it will uh, able to connect all the connections that we have on board also 
a always check always check do double checks to verify that whatever you are ordering is proper and you need it so i have seen many many times on board there is keeping some uh, coils of 200 meters and it's stored for a long time in a hot temperature conditions and so also that coil will be deteriorate through the time okay uh, when you make such replacement for sure you know that it's necessary to replace you do not waste the material and the money of the owner so we have find the horses let's say we need to find hammer i have in my mind the hammer so directly what i'm doing i'm going here i'm going to the top page directly of the impa and i'm looking again this kind of image so i'm looking somewhere for hammer or tools okay here we have measuring tools cutting tools hand tools okay hand tools 61 and we are going to 61 directly we're going to 61 page 59 and one more thing to share i told 61 yes okay uh, before we find uh, the hammer the hand tools which is here i would like to share you one important thing before you're ordering something, make a list with the tools that is necessary. Ask your um, colleagues what is necessary for them to order. Check your stores. Check your stores because most of the times you have the items inside and you are ordering again and again the same items. And if you have, this is the hand tools from here i cannot see that there is some a uh, hammer here so probably it will be in another uh, page so uh, make a list make a list so you can uh, check what is necessary to order what you have in your storage and one good thing is to have your stores uh, in good order so you have a inventory the inventory that's why it's very important to be done so you will know exactly here it's our hammers what's inside uh, the hand tools it's really important to know what you have to have an inventory the inventory is just for you i know that most of the times it's very very difficult to make that inventory because it's limited the time there is a lot of items but one first check or second check on the stores will give you this advantage of knowing what you have on board always have some uh, tools which will be used in emergency let's say to have some kind of a pair of drills uh, with covaltium some good hammer for some uh, important job which will be in good quality and always to be standby there in case that your tools will be broken for some reason uh, the selection of the tools it's really really important for the specific job that you are doing so you will use the specific hammer uh, let's say we have the combination of hammers uh, as we have from one side metal iron and plastic hard which is a really really interesting tool because you can have two tools combined in one some copper hammers depends where it's necessary to use that one for fitting something uh, some parts which is uh, really really important to avoid any damaging on them so the selection must be made carefully or 
the rubber hammers also can be selected if you try to avoid to make damage when you're hitting something or if you're hitting something you will not make so much damage as you would made with a normal hammer which is iron the punching tools said it's necessary and another thing that I do I check what I have on board and for sure I remember what I have for sure I know what is necessary to have on board it's necessary to have rags always because there is the jobs which involve for cleaning we know what is necessary and always I do not have a list I do not have a prepared list but when I start to uh, collect the items I see in overall what we will use for that appropriate time let's say three months mostly of the orders is three monthly and I know exactly what is necessary to know it's not necessary to tell me um, what to order uh, from chief engineer let's say uh, but I always ask the advice if they need something, if they are thinking that we'll make in the future some work, uh, what it will be necessary. Because two minds or three minds are better for sure. But in the basic things, okay, let's say uh, some items which is important, I know what to order. It's not necessary to make a, a house. And always asking uh, what I will order, what I will do that, I will do that. But um, this uh, this um, requisition normally takes time. And one a good one good thing, one good uh, practice is to make a order uh, to start ordering and see items from the beginning that you are on board, not waiting to come at this moment when it's necessary to collect for impa stores do not wait for that long and things will come naturally you will not be uh, under pressure to collect the requisition you will see slow step by step all the items that necessary let's say your hand tools your equipment what is necessary to improve your job and make it perfectly um, more easy so always uh, whatever your order measure uh, check and see uh, if it's really really necessary first of all and then if you have some equipment already on board try to use them try to finish your stocks and uh, not completely have also always for emergency some items but do not overstock uh, your storage as I have seen from uh, the past most of engineers have overstock a lot of items which is really really uh, probably will never use in the ship or will be sold to another company or uh, they will go for scrap but if you like and if you like this video I will learn it from your likes and from your comments uh, please let me know if you would like to make a, another video a detailed video what you should order in the position of second engineer so these tools will be necessary and really really impa is one book from where you can learn a lot it's a like a guidance for the consumables for a marine engineer or for even for uh, even for deck because also deck department they are using uh, the same book for ordering. For sure, another books uh, will be also important to use. Uh, I, I work before in one company which they supply also uh, some another book where you can find electronics, you can find some more um, nice stuff and also the quality of stuff which was much much better and mostly most of the companies okay they will use impa but if your company gives you the advantage of use some other 
um, let's say guides it will be really really nice to have it for sure do not overcome the specific um, let's say budget for each company and it's better to share the tools to the time let's say ordering uh, one part one month another part another month by avoiding ordering big quantities which is also uh, sometimes you cannot explain for what reason uh, you need that one uh, i would like to share the information that i know for the impa book we can make uh, more videos if you like it but i will see that from your comments and from your likes don't forget to join the channels a join button to see the membership which fits better for you and then proceed to the courses that i have prepared uh, for you thank you again from adventure story channel see you in the next video from me bye bye